Welcome back YouTube, welcome back to Midlife Crisis, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and give this video a big thumbs up. Welcome to the channel. My name is Craig, and today we're going to do a modification that I've wanted to do for uh, probably since I bought my AMG GTS, and that is underneath the hood in my 2016 AMG GTS Edition 1 uh, is a plastic AMG vanity cover, and ever since... I um, you know started dressing up the inside of the of the engine, go to the car show, lift the hood. I want it to look nicer. Well, that plastic AMG vanity cover just isn't. Uh, it's it's not uh, it's not right. That boy ain't right. I've got all the other carbon fiber on the car. I've got the carbon fiber air intakes. I've got the carbon fiber turbo engine cover. Now it's time to uh, switch out that AMG vanity cover with a proper one. Now, the only reason I have not done this modification earlier is because, not because uh, I couldn't find one, not because I just didn't want to pay that much. If you go to Mercedes OEM, it's like close to $1,000 or a little bit over $1,000 for the engine cover. If you go to Eventuri and get their whole air intake and the whole new vanity cover, it's like $2,000. Uh, so I always go and look at AMG online parts. I go to recyclers. I go to all these different sources because... You never know when you can refurbish a part. You can make it look new. Um, anytime I receive something that's not quite right, I get with my friend uh, Edward, Dr. Flow Creations, and uh, we get it revamped. Now, my hope is that when we unbox this, it's perfect. I don't have to do anything to it because I want to get it on. I want to get this swapped over. Now, everybody's going, well, what kind of mod is an engine cover? Well, you're, you're correct. You're absolutely correct. This is literally popping out four you know, little clips, popping the new one in. But... I want to move the AMG engine builder badge from the old vanity cover to the new one. And so I want to show you guys how to safely take it off, how to clean, how to prep the service, how to apply it back on. Because some of you with older AMGs may have a faded one. You may have ordered a new one. I know if you go to any Mercedes-Benz dealership with your VIN and can prove ownership, you can order a brand new builder badge uh, direct from Mercedes and it's going to come and you're going to need to apply it. Now, some of you are going to have your engine plaque on, you know, if it was M113K, it's going to be right on top of the uh, supercharger. If you've got a, one of the, you know, M156s or one of the, you know, naturally aspirated 6.3, 2 liter, 6.3, 6.2. We all know it's 6.2, even though it says 6.3. Uh, engine, it's sitting right there on top of the engine, right on the metal. So everybody's application is going to be a little bit differently, but the, the main thing is to do it safely and effectively. So... Today, we're going to go ahead and swap out that engine badge from the old one. We're going to take it off, and then we're going to put it on the new one. So let's get to unboxing, and uh, I appreciate everybody. We just reached our 600th subscriber. Um, we're a little over, I think, 40-some videos now, going on our two-year anniversary, and I couldn't be more excited. Thank you guys for all the support in the AMG community. You guys mean the world to me. Again, thank you very much. Um, we couldn't do this channel without you, and let's get into it. So here is our box. It was uh, nicely wrapped. Uh, I so wait, I need to overachieve. What does that say? Hashtag overachieve. Okay, well that's, uh, hopefully we don't uh, mess it up and we get it done right. Well, so I sourced this, uh, this AMG vanity engine cover from another uh, follower on the AMG GT owners Facebook group. I will put a, uh, a link in the description below. If you're not a member, I highly recommend it. Uh, advice, support from the community, modifications, learning about your specification. Uh, it is uh, a great resource. So he had already uh, swapped over his uh, intake and, and his vanity to an Eventuri on his AMG. So I was the lucky recipient of him just wanting to get rid of an extra part. And uh, I just jumped on it as soon as I saw it. And uh, he was awesome, got it shipped out right away. And uh, let's get to unboxing. But I am one of the laziest. I'm lazy. You didn't know that? I am, I'm very lazy. We are going to uh, try out our new two post lift because I am silly. So we finally got the two post lift installed and I have not yet got a car on it. So we are gonna do our unboxing on, uh-oh. Move, move, move. Kick it, kick it. All right, that should be a good placement for a box. All right. It's not heavy, but 
it is a 10,000 pound lift. So let's see if we can figure out it's used. You can tell my father-in-law did the electrician electric, but hey, it works. And it's gonna make it so we don't have to bend over. So I know that sounds silly. Bend over you must, for I must. Let's get that package up to the height we need. That looks good. Let's see, let's get it unboxed. All right, got my handy exacto knife. Let's get through some of this tape. Looks like he built this box. Winter Haven Times. Winter Haven, Florida. Great newspaper. Sourced it from Florida. All right, here we go. He did a good job packing it. Thank you very much. Uh, if you want to follow, well, I think you should follow. I know you should follow. So this guy that I bought this from, I'm gonna put his Instagram right here. Not only, Stock C8 is his name. He's not only an AMG GTS uh, owner, but he's also a C8 Corvette. He's in the market for a Huracan. He, he's got an R8. Uh, he does some pretty sick stuff. So give him a follow on Instagram. Uh, I, uh, I definitely did because uh, he is, uh, he's got some really cool stuff. All right, here we go. Bam! Look at that. It's got the whole full carbon fiber inlay. Now, we've got a, he had his old engine badge. We're going to have to clean this up here. But the carbon is in perfect shape. No scratches. Uh, just got to get the engine badge, you know, perfect. It's got no broken clips. I'm super stoked. Let's get into it. So let's get the uh, engine opened and uh, take a look at the existing uh, vanity cover. Oh, I'm too old for this. Give that open the AMG height. All right, as you can see, my existing engine bay, we've got the Zack Motorsports carbon fiber air intakes with a big three and a half inch filters. Now, we just added, and I didn't do that on camera, but we added the CMST uh, carbon fiber turbo cover. I do need to get a bigger turbo blanket so we can protect the carbon fiber, but that's for another time. This is right here. This is what we are concentrated on. This is my original OEM AMG uh, engine cover. And as you can see, this middle part, all plastic, um, but same shape, won't have any problems fitting in, but just, you know, kind of, let's just uh, see what the fit would look like uh, with just uh, putting it on top. So let's go grab it, stick that right there. Already, I'm, the mod is done. I don't need to do anything else. That looks a lot better. Ties the two together, ties the carbon there. Uh, so it just it just dresses up a little bit. But as you can see, we got some residue from where the old owner took their badge off to put it on the Eventuri. So now we have to take off that one, which I still have no idea the name of the builder. Uh, I love his signature, it's pretty nice. But we're gonna learn how to take that one off and put it on there. So before we get started with that, let's get this one prepped uh, get all that residue off of the carbon fiber. Make sure the carbon fiber surface is clean. And get it on. I think we are set up. So we've got to now get all of this old uh, double-sided tape residue off the carbon fiber finish. So in, in some past videos, you guys may have seen me clean off the goop from my mistakes. But uh, it's a combination of things. There's, depending upon the tape, the consistency, the surface in which it was applied, there's a bunch of different things that you may need. So... For me, um, 
I like to use a uh, basically it's a, akin to a, a trim kit, so a plastic trim kit, something with the ability to um, kind of scrape on the uh, carbon fiber uh, or the plastic surface so you're not scratching it. Uh, like to have a heat gun just in case I need to play a little bit of heat. Microfiber cloth for uh, cleaning it off, a little bit of detail spray. Um, and then just in case you may need it, uh, I do recommend getting some Goo Gone, uh, which I left over there, so let me go get it. So I also recommend a little bit of Goo Gone. Uh, just uh, it can be dangerous applying heat directly to the surface of the carbon fiber. You don't want to melt the clear coat. So the Goo Gone is a nice, safe, easy. You want to, you know, basically spray a little bit on and then let it sit there for a couple minutes and soak in and actually start breaking down uh, that ad adhesive material uh, before you start scraping. All right, now that you've uh, let it uh, kind of soak in, you're literally gonna start working it and uh, it's gonna take you a little while. You just keep on working at it, small, gentle, um, you know, prime motions. And here's the funny part. The best tool you have is your thumb. You just start kind of working your thumb into the bigger chunks and they will literally, your, your thumb, your finger is gonna be the softest thing to, uh, to get that residue off. So just keep on working it and uh, we'll come back when we're done. Later. All right, now that the Goo Gone has got, you know, penetrated a little bit and we've got the, uh, the, the majority of the bulk off and I just scraped it with my thumb just a little bit like, you know, back and forth. Uh, I like to use some uh, denatured alcohol. I'm gonna continue to butcher that, denatured alcohol. Uh, we already had some in here in the spray bottle, you know, just spray it, let it sit for a few minutes. And then again, just, this is like the little baby residues of the sticker. If you would just continue to, to work it. And then every once in a while, take your microfiber cloth, dab it, see where the residue is left. And you'll start seeing literally the surface will just start becoming completely clean. So get a little close up of that and, uh, just continue be patient. Don't overdo it, be gentle, and uh, keep working it. Now, not, last but not least, a little bit of detail spray. Uh, this is some Griotti, Griotti's Best of Show Detailer. I got it, some car show as a gift. Try to use this up, go ahead and spray that over, get this thing cleaned, and uh, just get a little microfiber wipe down. And now, we have a completely clean spot to put the new AMG engine builder back. Now we got to get our old one off and uh, hopefully I don't need to teach anybody on who's going to watch this how to take this off. The trick is with this long nose is to pop the back and then pop the front and boom your engine cover is off. Now Let's show you how to take off that engine badge without ruining it. All right, it. now it's time to take off the engine builder badge from my uh, stock plastic engine cover. So uh, as you can see, that is on there pretty good. The nice part about it is, is looking at it, it's a sunken in there. So when we apply the new 3M uh, double-sided tape, it should sink straight in there. So gentle pry tool, maybe a little heat. Let's start prying to start with and then we'll get into the heat gun. Little trim tool. It's on there pretty good. You didn't see this. So I'm taking a razor blade very carefully and I'm going to just so slightly underneath the engine badge, just kind of cut the tape that's underneath there to give me a little bit of a prying edge. So again, sinking in deep and just uh, go around the edges, go slow. You'll start hearing the tape underneath, start cutting. So that way, when you start prying, it'll give you something to pry, just a little bit of something to, as you can see, we've got it pried open. So we're just gently And it literally is just tape on the back of the engine cover. So we got her off. Now we got to clean that up so we can reapply new tape. That sucks. Now we've got our badge completely off of the old OEM engine cover. And all of the old 
adhesive tape is gone. We've used denatured alcohol to clean the surface. And now we're ready to apply the new 3M tape so we can place it on the, uh, the new carbon fiber engine cover. I've got a lot of 3M adhesive tape, uh, different sizes. I've got quarter inch, half inch, three quarter inch. So uh, we're gonna pick which one works and get it applied. So we've got it. Let's go ahead and get the tape on. Uh, I think I'm gonna use, let's see here. I'm not gonna use three quarter inch, that's too big. Let's go ahead and use, let's open up this brand new, uh, what is that? That is half inch. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and lay it across the edges and then I'm going to use a razor blade to cut it right at the end. And then we'll probably trim it up a little bit on each end. Now don't take off the back side yet. We're not gonna do that until we apply it to the engine cover. So what I'm doing here, since I don't have the rounded edges, is I'm applying it evenly across the middle. So it's across the entire center, okay? Use the razor blade, pop it off, and then it's applied. And just keep on repeating that till we're done. Now, one thing to note is on the edge here. I'm gonna cut it back just, I don't know, maybe a millimeter, centimeter, whatever it is, just so that it lays inside of the tray of the engine cover correctly. and just pull it back enough so that it can fit right into the tray. All right, we've got our 3M tape to the back of the engine badge. Now, before we apply it, we're gonna take back the red tape and we're gonna do what's called flags. And so basically what we're doing, we don't wanna pull out the entire backing until we've got our placement correct, we've got it level, we've got it even on the surface. So all you wanna do is you wanna go to each of the corners. Sometimes you may wanna take a razor blade and just flick up the end of the flag like that and then pull it back about halfway and then fold it to the edge like that so that you can always pull it out at the end so the middle ones you'll need to pull out to the top and the bottom but the the, the last ones on the sides just move out to the side all right we've got our all of our flags ready to go and big thing make sure you're not doing it upside down but before we get started, let's go ahead and clean that surface one more time with some desanitized alcohol, just to make sure that all the particles, any dust, anything is clean. You need the best surface possible for this to adhere to. And we'll spray a little desanitized alcohol. Grab a brand new microfiber cloth. Nice and clean. And we'll just make sure that all of the uh, contaminants are off all right so as i apply this i'm going to start at the bottom that way all my flags are to the top or to the sides so we're going to go ahead and place that right in there this requires two hands and you get the placement right about where you want and then you slowly but surely start pulling out the flags and i hope to god this is straight uh, and the last one now Apply pressure evenly across the entirety of it. That way that all the tape is on. All right. And ladies and gentlemen, we have the engine builder plate from my AMG GTS moved to the new carbon fiber engine cover. ready to get the new engine cover inside of there. Well, I'm happy. Hope everybody else is too. I uh, hope that was helpful. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Well, I hope you enjoyed the uh, swap over of the AMG engine badge from my old OEM plastic engine cover to the new OEM carbon fiber one. Hopefully it was helpful. Never know who's going to fall into the same situation and the same good luck that I had uh, finding that OEM carbon fiber. I really think it finishes out uh, the engine bay. We still got a couple more mods to do the engine bay and to be completely done. Um, 
I want to thank everybody for watching. If you'd like to see this channel grow and you'd like to see us do more incredible AMG content, please make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, share the video with your grandmother, your, your uncle, whomever. And until next time, we'll see you later.